Hi everyone, happy Wednesday. So I, <laughs> as I said yesterday, um, I did do a flip through yesterday, by the way, if you missed it, um, I'll put it up here in the top right. Um, it was a couple of Korean coloring books I had ordered off of Etsy. And I did put some links to some different Etsy sellers and eBay sellers, um, as I know like quantities were limited. So hopefully um, if you wanted those, plus the shipping and stuff varies. I really should shop around. I gotta say, definitely shop around. If you find a book like that, it's very hard. I wish there was a better way to get better translations and descriptions of the books and the authors. Um, I even tried searching by the ISBNs and I didn't get a lot of, um, I didn't have a lot of luck. But um, through Googling and various searches, I was able to find the book in some, uh, from some different sellers. And the shipping and cost can vary greatly, so definitely shop around if you can for those types of books. Um, because the shipping costs, um, especially if they're coming from outside the U.S. and you live inside the U.S., um, can vary. So keep that in mind. Um, what I link to and where I bought mine isn't always the best price. It's just sometimes I don't think about it. <laughs> and, like it might have been, I couldn't find them on Amazon Japan, no matter how much I looked. And if they're there, they might be cheaper. So just, I'd say when it comes to books outside the U.S., definitely try to Google and look around as much as you can. And sometimes you can find a good deal. But anyway, um... I bought those on Etsy and I was doing really well. I couldn't find my copy of Fall Mandalas, so I ordered this one, which is an updated version of it anyway. And of course, as it happens, every time I order one, it's hard not to pick up some others. And so I did. And I think what, two of them are Halloween related. Well, this one's not really Halloween, it's just pumpkins. And then we got a fall one and then two like just non-seasonal things so I guess that's not terrible but um yeah so and t today's been a weird day we got some news this morning I mentioned I've been mentioning my medical accommodation well I'll talk about that again let's just get to the flips first so because that's why we're here so there's one book I didn't have for Musiku and it was Lonely Pumpkin and um, I can't remember whose site I saw it on. And I was like, I put that on my list. And I and I think it was marked down a little is the reason I picked it up. So um, if you're not familiar, Usiku has a number of books out that I absolutely adore. Yeah. Come here, you. Witches Around. Year of Witches and then the witches coloring book so this is a similar size um, smaller than a standard size coloring book matte cover amazon printed let me adjust there we go or i mean i can talk about this stuff while i'm doing this so this looks to be a recent one as well so the two early witches books had a little bit thinner line art but I know it's like like witches around this one has the thicker line art which I prefer particularly for marker coloring so instead of a witch you have this pumpkin this is lonely pumpkin so kind of sad out there trying to get some friends it looks like maybe they're visiting their their pumpkin friend that passed away maybe he's trying to make friends with a bat maybe the bat would like flowers not a super happy <laughs> book I guess lonely pumpkin never really looks quite happy
Now, I would totally buy a book that instead was Introvert Pumpkin. <laughs> and just had that, had the pumpkin smiling throughout. Hanging out with some frogs. Still, still just not feeling it. Maybe wizard frogs because of their hats. Doing a little decorating. Has an awful lot of ghosts everywhere. Make ghosty friends. I don't know. Maybe ghosties just aren't too talkative. I liked, um, I noticed on the cover there were a couple like Christmassy winter type one type pictures. So this isn't just like, I mean, I don't think any book's ever just a Halloween book. But this isn't just a Halloween themed book. Like there's other times of year, other seasons and things like that. Love those with the little skull flowers. I'm assuming they're getting poisoned with the skull and crossbones on that. <laughs> oh, that little bat just couldn't quite make make the flight. Wasn't wasn't uh strong enough. Boy, these are kind of melancholy for sure. <laughs> Now see, this looks, this is, <laughs> I love this. One of these days I'm going to wake up and they're going to be doing this. They're all going to be around me in the bed. And if that ever happens, something is really wrong. Because Reaper Chief never comes into the bedroom, hardly ever. And so if all four of them are in there, I'm very concerned. Love those. Oh, their names, images, too. I'm sorry. I've completely missed that they all have names here on the back. So, like, this one was at the fair. The, first, that, the previous one was Black Cat's Coven. So, these are titled, which I enjoy. Oh, see? She's coming around. Having a nice little dance there. <laughs> Helping her, uh... Ghost friends dry, or maybe dry their costumes. Oh, look, things are getting better. Met other pumpkins, met a ghosty friend. Oh, friends. Oh, I see what happened. She came across some other pumpkins, says, What have we here? And then this one's simply titled Friends. She she found her some friends. So it ends up having a happy ending after all. Very cute. Oh, and a perfect one for Christmas. There this is my Christmas my Christmas coloring right here. I am going need to mark this page. This is very cute. Very simple pages, but right now that is kind of my speed. So I'm I'm really happy I picked this up. I think that is the last Usiku book as of right now. So any day. So this is um, a book by Morgan O'Brien, um, the one the artist of the Matchstick Mouse series. I can't remember, I think, was this in honor of his wife, maybe? I can't quite remember, but it is the cutest book. I mean, the Magic Mouse books are cute too, but I love this book so much. And I was like, I'm going to put it on my list. There's a standard edition with standard Amazon paper, and there's a premium edition, I think, with the clear, not clear, the glossy paper. The standard edition, as of the time I purchased it, was seven fifty. It was marked down. Um, I guess maybe not as many people are buying this one, but I think it's so cute, and I don't know why. So um, it was on sale, so I figured I'd pick it up. I think so. There is. A Christmas so Morgan O'Brien also put out a Christmas book oh, so cute it's me and the cats right there so I think she might I was gonna say I think she might be a bunny but that's not a bunny tail so 
Wherever she is, she is stinking cute. I love the little spots. I think I might actually like her more than the mouse. Her character. Um, what was I going to say? So, I know there's a Christmas coloring book. I can't remember the name of it. That was put out to be a companion to the storybook. Like, it has the story in it, too. Similar to the Halloween party one, I think. And then... Morgan O'Brien is finishing up a winter one. Now, the Christmas storybook one, I think, has some images from the other... The, the Matchstick Mouse book I have that is wintry Christmas. I can't think of the name of it. They all get so confusing. Um... But I think the new one's like all new images. So I think I'm just going to wait on that one for right now. I eventually won't like all the books. But I am trying to be more a little bit better with my um, purchasing. A little more mindful purchasing, if you will. She has healthier habits than I do, for sure. Hmm. Excuse me. Love her little hedgehog buddy. It's a good... Well, that could be spring. Like a spring wreath. Really need to get into these books. I've been coloring a little more non-color by number this week. Just standard coloring books. And one for sure, um, the ones I need to start hitting up are my Morgan O'Brien books. I tend to want to color stuff I've noticed in batches. So, like, if I color one, I'll probably color in two or three of them at a time. With different palettes and stuff, but... I think a lot of that's because I'm sitting in the living room coloring and it saves me having to get up and get different things. So like I'll color them all marker, use different palettes, you know, I might probably, oh, that one's adorable. I might get my, I need to get my pastel pencils out. I've got some new pencils to try. I'm sure y'all laugh because I keep saying, like, keep trying to give heads up to people that are like, you know, why why have your flip through suddenly, number of flip throughs suddenly went down? And I mean, not obviously, not that it's, I guess, anybody's business, but that's why I keep talking about how I'm trying to be more mindful with buying because we were setting some financial goals for the year and. And then I got a little distracted. Oh my gosh, that's too cute. I got a little distracted by all the cool books coming out right now. And so I indulged a little bit in some books and some pencils and stuff. But we're back to it. I, um, I don't know why... I think because they came out back to back, but that Cam newest Camille de Erico book, I thought, was a compilation one. But I think it was the one that came out previous to that one. That's a compilation. Please tell me in the comments if I'm wrong. If it's all new images, then I do want that one as well. Um, but I'm putting that on my Christmas list. I'm also putting Small Victories on there. It's a little easier because if for some reason whoever gets those can't get them through Amazon, like they can get them through other, um, other means. Not as much like the Amazon books. Ooh, this one came all the way from Las Vegas. I don't know if I usually get books printed in Vegas. 
That's cool. Um, Fall Mandalas by Alexander Franzese. So she had printed this a few years back. Or a few years back. It was last year. And then I think she made some updates to it. And then republished it. I think. I think. And that was the plan for me. Is I was going to get the updated version. But then I was like no I'm going to wait. Now I can't find that book. So I had to order the version anyway. Um, I'm really. Gr Her Mandala books are probably my favorites right now. I really enjoy them. I'm using these as a bit of a challenge. This is Amazon printed. I'm using these as a bit of a challenge where I use color cube palettes and I'll pick a palette. I'll use it in one of Alexander Francis's books and then in one of Joshua Dunbar's books. And it's really gotten me to color a lot more in diff the different books. And it's been a lot of fun. So I actually have one in here I've done that I can show y'all. Just finished it today. You'll see it on social media tonight. Um, those are supposed to be white chocolate dipped pears and then like the drizzled regular chocolate on them. It's, I think the pattern makes it a little hard to understand that they're pears, but um, I like it. I was a little nervous that I couldn't replicate it on each one, but I think I did a pretty good job on that one. Um, and uh, so I use actually like two or three different palettes and then I added in the teal blue um, as just kind of a pop of color. So you'll be seeing that there and in Joshua Dunbar's Halloween Cuties book over the next few days. So... I was pretty pleased with how that came out. I'm just still in fall. I probably won't be getting too much into winter until like January. Maybe December. Because I still have a lot of fall and coloring I want to do. And, this, and see, that was my trouble is I picked up this one and I was like, I want to color in this book, so, like right now. So I am going to order this book. And that was my weak point because then I'm like, well, there's been sales. Let me just look and see if anything's marked down. And sure enough, there were a couple. Sometimes, sometimes the artists will mark down a book like maybe it's not selling well Maybe they're doing a sale on their books. They'll mark it down by a couple dollars. Coloring Book Cafe does that sometimes too. Um, Coco Wyo does that sometimes. So I usually keep mine on a wish list or two. Um, and then just scroll through them and look and see if anything's marked down. Same thing with like... Um, uh, supplies and stuff. Boy, budget pencil sets are like really marked down right now. And I don't know if it's in an anticipation of Black Friday sales. I don't know. But I've been tempted. <laughs> I talked about that a little bit. If you go to my community tab, um, I tried to order a backup set of the Fila colored pencils, which I really like budget wise and um, let me speed this up a little bit sorry and uh, they came with a little bit of surprise um, the box says Fila but the pencils say show <laughs> yes they do um, it's pretty wild I have pictures um, go check that post out just buyer beware it wasn't just me Tammy had that happen to her too. Somebody in the comments said they just they went back and looked and noticed that. Um, and then a review on the site also pointed that out. So this is not just a one-off thing. So I don't recommend those right now. 
but we were, she and I both, Tammy and I both were tempted by some budget sets. Um, the cool thing is, hopefully, I can get those. My plan is to review, do my supply haul, which includes swatches and kind of my first thoughts on them by next Wednesday. So if there are Black Friday sales on some of them and they're good sets, then you can go get them. That's why I'm going to do it Wednesday instead of... Um, bonus page from Spooky Mandalas, which I didn't get enough chance to color in. I might do another one of those for the end of the year, if I think about it. So here's Fall Mandalas. And I will try to speed things up. <laughs> I don't know why. I know why. We know why I got this one. We can look at it and we know why. Um... I have his Halloween scribbles. I have not colored in it yet. Again, I was just looking and I saw this one and I saw that picture with the cats and I was just like, why not get another book of his that's not Halloween themed? See, I have to have the Halloween themed book but then the non-Halloween themed book and then I'm good, right? <laughs> so, tester page here. Yeah, I couldn't resist that that picture. That is, that's probably Bagheera, that's Leroy, that's probably Reef Sheet. Winry just does not like to be held. So, or that might be Winry. Winry or Reef Sheet at the top. These images seem a lot bigger than the Halloween ones, but maybe I'm just imagining things. Very cute. Hopefully I don't overthink these and try to, if, you know, some people end up spending a lot of time on these, which is great, you know, everybody colors differently, but I am one who tends to get overwhelmed and overthink pictures sometimes, and sometimes I just need to color and just color and be happy instead of trying to think of all the fancy things I can do to a picture. That is adorable. I mean, he's grumpy and sad, but it is really adorable. He's really cute. And see, I have to be careful with collections like like the Matchstick, like any Morgan O'Brien book, um, all these Morning Scribbles books, um, the Disney books, like collections artists that I want all their books I <laughs> I've had to really try to be more like am I going to color in this book and there's only a few artists that I'm that I've been like I want their whole collection is not very many like less than five and it's more just collecting I guess than coloring everybody else I have to be mindful because if I don't I will have double the amount of books I have and I don't color enough in the books I have oh my gosh that is so cute that is looks like a trash panda I love him and the little mouse oh that's not a mouse that's a possum even better in the possum costume where is my cute possums coloring book? That's what I want. I want a cute possums coloring book. Somebody out there make it happen. I will buy it. Make it make it the the trash animals coloring book or something and do like possums, raccoons and what was the other one? Like garbage dwellers. It was, oh, skunks. That's it. Let's do like garbage dwellers or trash animals or something and just make it skunks and raccoons and possums. Like, that would be such a cute idea. Anybody watching? <laughs> I mean, mice would be cute too. 
Like rats, or just do actual rats. Maybe not cute little mice, but just like rats. <laughs> that reminds me of Rainbow Dash. Like a big, a chonky Rainbow Dash. And the cool thing is, now the cool thing is this does have 50 images, so it is a really nice sized book for the price. Oh, love it! D&D. D&D themes. Oh, raccoon! Yeah, you could even have, like, other animals in, in costumes. Like, undercover as pandas and possums and rats and skunks. Like, that would be stinking cute, too. Like, just make it a whole book of those animals and, like, and rats and, like... You know, most of the animals that people just consider kind of ew. Not ew, but, you know. I don't know. You can include things like vultures and stuff in there, too. But that might get to be too many things. Unless you need a bird, then I think a vulture or a buzzard would be a good choice. Um, but, yeah, that's what I would do. Just all the animals that a lot of people just consider ick kind of animals like that. Um, make a book like that and they could be trash animals or something um, and uh, just just thank me <laughs> just thank me in your um, in your in your book that's all I ask that's all I need <laughs> anyway cute horror color by number by Sach and Sachiva this was his last Halloween publication um, and I couldn't resist. I said I was going to wait, but then I was like, there's going to be a bunch of Halloween books next year. So, let's go ahead. I know, I know, this is like the my worst time of year. For here I am trying to budget my book buying during the time of year that's my favorite. I also saw uh, Tammy from Tammy Colors 2 um, do one of her Sashiva Sundays in this book. And the colors were so cool. I liked it so much. Oh, I love this one, the little zombie guy. He might be the first one I do. Oh, but then there's the kitty. Okay. I like the art in this. Like, it, it's not... N it's not like this was the one that Tammy did that I really like the colors. Um, it's not. I mean, it's cutesy, but it's it's a little more mature than just super cutesy chibi, super cutesy. I don't know how to explain it, but does that make sense? Like the art is a little different. Like you could look at this and be like, okay, yeah, this is just. Like his chibi Halloween one. But it really isn't. For one thing, the the images are different. And the art style is just a little different. Like this one with the ghost tree. See? I don't know. Like this one's a little spookier. Less cute. A little, not spooky, but a little more unnerving, if you will. Yeah, like that is a little terrifying. I'm not gonna lie. That's some killer clowns from outer space business right there. So I like it. I like that. I appreciate. Oh, he's cute too. I appreciate that he has. He's trying some different art styles too. I like the variety he has. kind of feel like it's more like a little something for everybody like maybe you prefer this type of art style rather than the really cutesy chibi stuff maybe you prefer the cutesy chibi stuff maybe you prefer the mosaic stuff huh I just noticed the way these are printed they're almost kind of crooked on the page or is that just me 
No, they are. I don't know if that was on purpose. I think that they might have gotten a little turned. I mean, it's not taking away from the page at all. They're all still perfectly fine to color. But yeah, if you go to take a picture, it's not going to be a complete straight line. I'm bad about crooked pictures, so I guess that's why I notice. Here's all his social media. I've already bought his like Christmas chibi type book that he just put out. I'm assuming there's going to be a... He has Christmas patterns. No, he already has a Christmas one, so I need to go find that. I don't know if I have the Christmas stained glass either. Did I nab it, Michelle? Stop it! Stop it! Okay, look. I'm allowed a few Christmas books at the end of the month. I just have to decide which ones. I have to decide which ones. And only pick a few. So. Alright. So that is my... <laughs> with yesterday's books, that is my book collection for the week. Um, Friday, I am doing my book haul for the past few months. And, of course, it'll be my colored pages and collection update it'll include all these books um plus all the others from the past few months so um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed um i'll probably have a color and chat on sunday we'll do something maybe on sunday i just don't know what yet so all right guys thanks for watching bye for now